the substation is about 220 feet by 135 feet. It lines up with our uh, existing parking deck. So what they're pouring right now are the, uh, the basement foundation for our 15 kV uh, switch gear. And then what they've already poured, uh, the great beams are on the far end of the side is our 69 kV GIS uh, switch gear basement. Um, the area they're working in right there, uh, they're putting in micro piles. Uh, this is going to be where our four uh, 40 MVA power transformers are going to set. They're lined up against the street. As part of this project, our agreement with the Metro Planning was that we would upgrade the streetscape along 11th Avenue. So uh, we're taking our overhead lines down from uh, Church Street uh -huh. all the way to Charlotte. And then we're widening the sidewalk to eight feet, and then including um, tree plantings all the way down uh, this strip of, of the 11th Avenue. Now you guys did something similar with another substation in the city, right? We did. About 10 years ago, uh, we had a substation that uh, fed about a third of our downtown network and it was inside the footprint of where the new convention center went. So uh, we worked with uh, Metro and uh, MDHA and built a new substation uh, about 600 feet away. So it was a block and a half away from our uh, existing, our old substation. Okay. And it, it was electrically almost identical to what we're building here. So uh, uh, we built it so that it could be uh, housed indoor. It was our first indoor substation that we had ever uh, designed or installed. Uh, and uh, so we got that done, and the, the exterior has a punched uh, uh, metal facade. It's got some, uh, I guess, advertising billboards around it that, that NES uses. Right. Um, so, so going forward, I mean, I guess the plan would be if you ever built another substation in the city, you'd have the same idea in terms of trying to make it as, as you know, similar along the lines in terms of the visual aspect, right? So we actually have a third uh, network station uh, that's located on the river, and we are actually in preliminary stage of planning to rebuild it. Okay. It was actually probably one of our oldest substations. It was originally built in about 1914, uh, originally had steam generation. And so uh, that, that's our plan is once we finish this uh, project up, that we move uh, to, to that location. And it will be very similar to this. It will be an indoor substation with uh, a uh, aesthetically pleasing right. facade. Yeah, yeah, okay.